Are there any key differences in, in the live action series? Is it more condensed or what other big differences would you say? Well, there are differences in the timeline. It's things like Sozin's Comet. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you don't really hear about that in the animated version until much later. But here it's present in season one to kind of uh, up the stakes uh, of time a little bit. And it's, it's also uh, similar to the reasoning to put Ozai and Azula in season one. You know, you get a, a bigger picture of the family dynamics. Not yes. just with Iroh and Zuko and Ozai, but when you when you see how Ozai is pitting Azula against Zuko, mm -hmm. you know, it makes the relationships much more complex. Have you got a plan yet? The plan is to go in and capture the Avatar once and for all. So no plan. I'm working on it, Uncle. This is heady stuff. This is, I, my cup runneth over. You know, to be part of this, and I'm, I'm part of another huge franchise as well. Yeah, there you go. That's, I, I just need one oh, more, wow. and I've got a hat trick, right? And so, <laughs> right. there you go. Um, and so, it, it's really, uh, I feel like I'm living a dream. You know, like, pinch me and wake up. And it's like, kablooey, everything is like, you, you're back to, to the real world. And so, I take every moment, and I try to enjoy as much of it as I can, and to be grateful for these opportunities. But it's also very exciting to be part of this, and like, this thing that we, we shot a year and a half ago mm -hmm. is gonna be shared in a few days with the entire world and I couldn't be more excited because there's some fantastic work from all these great performers but also creators who are at the top of their game and from all the different departments to the writers, the directors, the VFX department, props, hair and makeup, uh, wardrobe, everything has come together and it is just, I still can't believe that I, I'm a part of this and I'm sitting next to Daniel Day Kim. Stop that, right. stop. It's a real treat, uh, especially because uh, Netflix and the writers have done such a good job taking care of us, you know, in the writing, in the storytelling, but also in the support, you know, that uh, in, in things like post-production, the, the, the special effects, I mean, you've seen the episodes, so, mm -hmm. you know, it's they're not typical of television. And, you know, the wardrobe, uh, you know, things from the set design, these, these are very high, it's a very high value production. Mm -hmm. And so to be supported in that way really helps our work. Right. Uh, and so I just loved how, how much respect that they were giving uh, the original material and, uh, and how they're, they're giving us every chance to succeed. In regards to that, when you, when you see your characters for the first time, there seems like there's so much detail that went into honoring the original material. When you saw yourselves for the first time in the full costume, what, what did you feel? I, w I was just talking about this and uh, you know, that first time when, well, there's the first time where we wore the, the wardrobe and the, co the costumes and it was kind of the finishing touch on the character because it allowed me to immerse myself fully into the world. You know, it not only looked so authentic to the, to the cartoon, uh, the anime, uh, but it also affected the way I moved inside of it. And that helped actually create Ozai for me. And then when we got to see each other, like when Paul came out as Iroh, and then we saw like Aang and, and Katara and Zuko, it just, it came to life. It really felt like we could stop imagining and we could just start to play. There are some major, major stunts in this, major big action pieces. What was your training like? Well, <laughs> I, 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 your story is a whole other level in terms of your <laughs> physical preparation. I was uh, sent to like a, a, almost like a boot camp, a very physical, very humbling four weeks of um, learning the choreography for the fight sequences. Um, and uh, we had top-notch stunt team mm -hmm. that just was super patient, but also kept in mind that you know each bending form had it was based on a certain martial arts. The meticulous attention to detail was there. It had to look right. It had to look perfect. Mm -hmm. And you know, again, pairing it with the, the right scene partner as well, like Dallas and I, we're in that scene together. He does a lot of heavy lifting, and I get to show up and do a few of my moves. And when you tie all of that together, the stunt work, the cam work, and then the VFX layered on top of that for the bending, it's mind blowing. Mm -hmm. Like it is so, but it, it's a lot of hard work gets poured into that. A lot of, you have to know the choreo and you have to sell those moves too. And there's gotta be a weight behind it. And it's gotta be believable. So you help the VFX part, uh, you know, uh, crew, you help them sell the story, right? Because mm -hmm. if you're just waving your hands around, that's a big hill for them to climb. So it's all these different elements 
working in conjunction with each other and everybody's going to be firing on, on all cylinders and go and it's uh yeah i know it's great but this guy what three push-ups shows up becomes the biggest <laughs> thirst trap uh, in the history of asian culture uh, they like, they actually did take this the stunt training very seriously and each one of the the actors when they were when we were not shooting we would have head over to the stunt the gym and and work on our choreography and, and so you know a lot of times uh, action is considered an afterthought in this kind of a show. Mm -hmm. Again, part and parcel with everything else, with the production values, uh, they really took good care of the actors physically, you know, make sure we weren't injured, but also made sure that we had every chance to learn that choreography and do it well. This young cast specifically, I think every time I see a video of them on social, I'm like, these are the, this is the perfect casting, they're just like their characters. What was it like uh, having, having them around on set? <laughs> It was an absolute joy. I mean, they are awesome human beings as well as incredibly talented actors. Um, they're all so grounded and they're so committed to their craft. And that makes it easy, right? But they're still kids and they still bring a lot of fun and joy and energy to it, right? Um, and it's like, I, I look at them, especially I worked with Dallas. I, for most of it, it was just he and I for a lot of the scenes. And uh, it made my heart swell. I was so proud of him because he really cared so much about the material and doing the best job he could. Um, and he was dedicated and he was committed and his performance is just sublime. And uh, I'm excited for him, for all of them because the world is gonna see their work and just see how insanely talented they all are. And they deserve it. They deserve all the accolades that they're, they are bound to get. I would add that, you know, uh... In the, in the time that I've been an actor, I've been a part of some very tumultuous sets. Uh, this was notable because it genuinely was not. Everyone wanted to be there. Everyone was rowing in the same direction. Uh, and it was a joy uh, to be working with all these young actors who didn't come in with any kind of preconceived notions about how what uh, what number one on the call sheet was supposed mm -hmm. to be or mm -hmm. what a, st a star was supposed to act like. The, we all just did the work and got along. And you can't ask for much more than that. Yeah.